does black seed oil lower blood pressure? If you're curious about natural ways to manage blood pressure, you might have come across black seed oil as a potential solution. Let's explore the facts to see if it really makes a difference. Black seed oil, derived from the seeds of the Nigella sativa plant, has been used for centuries in traditional medicine for various health benefits. Recent studies have specifically looked into its effects on blood pressure. One study published in the journal Food Science and Nutrition Research involved 20 healthy adults with normal blood pressure. These participants were given a daily dose of black seed oil containing 3% thymoquinone, the main active ingredient, for six weeks. After a three-week washout period, they were given a placebo for another six weeks. The results showed a significant decrease in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure by 11.2% and 12.2%, respectively. Another study, this one involving 70 healthy volunteers, had participants take 2.5 milliliters of black seed oil twice a day for eight weeks. At the end of the study, the systolic and diastolic blood pressures had decreased significantly compared to the baseline and the placebo group. The mechanisms behind these effects are interesting. Black seed oil seems to reduce cardiac o oxidative stress and the activity of angiotensin converting enzyme, which is involved in blood pressure regulation. It also increases the activity of heme oxygenase 1 and prevents the loss of plasma nitric oxide, all of which contribute to lowering blood pressure. In all these studies, the participants did not report any adverse effects from taking the black seed oil, which is a positive note for those considering this natural remedy. So, to answer your question, yes, black seed oil does appear to lower blood pressure based on the evidence from these clinical trials. However, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement, especially if you're already taking other medications or have underlying health conditions.